clip, that means YouTube let it go through. If not, that means I was shut down. This is the story of singer Freddie Jackson. Freddie Anthony Jackson was born on October 2nd, 1956. He is an American singer, originally from New York. He began his professional music career in the late 1970s with the California funk band Mystic Merlin. Among his well-known R&B soul hits are Rock Me Tonight, For Old Time's Sake, I Love That Song. In 1985, Have You Ever Loved Somebody in 1986, Jam Tonight in 1986, Do Me Again in 1990, and You Are My Lady. Oh, I love that. That is my joint right there. In 1985, he contributed to the soundtrack for the 1989 animated film All Dogs Go to Heaven with the Michael Lloyd produced duet Love Survives alongside Irene Cara. He also appeared in the movie Kingdom New York. Freddie Jackson was born in the Harlem section of New York. He was trained as a gospel singer from an early age, singing at the White Rock Baptist Church of Harlem. It was there he met Paul Lawrence, who would later become his record producer and songwriting partner. After graduating high school, Freddie joined Paul Lawrence's group, LJE, the initialism for Lawrence Jones Ensemble, and played the New York nightclub scene. During the late 70s, Freddie moved to the West Coast and sang lead with the group Mystic Merlin, with, with which he released three studio albums through 1980 to 1982, but soon returned to New York to work with Lawrence at Hush Productions. Freddie sang on demo recordings of Paul Lawrence's compositions and also served as a backing vocalist for singer Melba Moore after she saw his nightclub performance in 1981. In 1984, he landed a recording contract with Capitol Records and released his debut album, Rock Me Tonight, in 1985. The Paul Lawrence pen title track stormed the R&B charts, spending six weeks at number one, and made Freddie an instant hit on urban contemporary radio. You Are My Lady gave him a second straight R&B chart topper and also proved to be his highest charting single on the Billboard Hot 100, peaking at number 12 with He'll Never Love You Like I Do and Love Is Just a Touch Away, also hitting the R&B top 10. Rock Me Tonight topped the R&B album chart and went platinum. He issued the follow-up just like the first time in 1986 on the heels of a number one R&B duet with Melba Moore, a little bit more from her album, A Lot of Love. Another platinum seller, just like the first time, continued Freddie's dominance of the R&B singles charts. Tasty Love, Have You Ever Loved Somebody, and Jam Tonight all hit number one, while I Don't Want to Lose Your Love went to number two. Pace of his success slow with the 1988 release of don't Let Love Slip Away, which nonetheless featured another two R&B chart toppers in Hey Lover and Nice and Slow. The title track of 1990's Do Me Again and Love Me Down duplicated that feat. In main course, Just Miss topping out at number two. Even so, his earlier placings in the lower reaches of the Billboard Hot 100 had long since disappeared, and some critics charged that his albums were growing too similar to one another. Freddie appeared as a lounge singer on the 1989 The Golden Girls episode two road together and sang the Disney song, It's a Small World to Sophia. Also in 1989, he sung the duet, Love Survives with Irene Kerr for the soundtrack to the film, All Dogs Go to Heaven. Seeking a new beginning, he parted ways with Capital EMI in late 1993 and signed with RCA BMG Records. His label debut, Here It Is, appeared the following year with diminished commercial returns. Following a Christmas album, he split with RCA and recorded private party for the smaller street life imprint of Scotty Brothers Records in 1995. Several years of silence ensued until Orpheus issued Life After 30 in late 1999. The equally low-key release Life Live in Concert followed in 2000. After returning to the charts with It's Your Move in February 2004 on Martland Entertainment, he released his 10th studio album, Transitions, in September 2006 under record label Orpheus Music. At the end of 2010, he released a new album on the entertainment, One Music Label, entitled For You and produced by hit songwriter Barry at Eastman. The album featured the single, I Don't Wanna Go. In August 1988, the British music magazine NME reported that Freddie Jackson had verbally attacked George Michael in the Los Angeles Times over his black music chart 